And this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It's Porto versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, this should be a top class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game. And I think this is too close to call. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. It's a fine United move in the making. Opportunity to deliver the cross. The lineup for Manchester United. Davi De Gea begins in goal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Sancho, Cristiano Ronaldo, and the goal kick is the outcome. From the bank. Getting forward. Van de Beek. Perfect challenge. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Mateo Suribe. Otavio now. Could go ahead. Pivotal moment defensively. Bruno Fernandes. On to Van de Beek. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Still passing it around with authority. Van de Beek. De Jong. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Well, they keep passing away. Space and time for the cross. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Cristiano Ronaldo. And return to Ronaldo. Can he put them in front? Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Ottavio. And they need to get tighter. Van der Beek. Ronaldo. Can they take the lead? And a goal for United! The opener in the final! And it could be hugely significant! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count.
So back underway in this game, Manchester United with the advantage. Karemi. Otavio now. Nicely cut out. Jaden Sancho. On to De Jong. Cristiano Ronaldo. Jaden Sancho. And they find a gap in the defence. Van der Beek. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. The first half here comes to an end. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Good work to win the ball back by United. Mehdi Tarami. An attack full of promise. And I'm sure he heard the footsteps of his opponent. Here's a change for Manchester United. Torres Dumfries spraying passes around almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake Bruno Fernandes it's now with Van der Beek well, they're eyeing that final pass you just feel Bale Bruno Fernandes has it pass after pass keeping their opponents moving Mateus Uribe, Pepe, showing patience, looking for the equaliser, how about the cross, this could be the equaliser, oh but he's missed it, he's completely failed the test, well that was a big opportunity and they really should be level now, they have to be more clinical in front of goal, And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Ericsson. Sancho now. De Jong. Bale. It's an intelligent run from Gareth Bale. Jaden Sancho. Bruno Fernandes. And the challenge crisp and clean. And into the last 20 minutes. Now he must favour the cross, attending to his defensive chores. A sloppy pass.
Otavio decided to come in from the flank interception to snuff out the danger Bale Bruno Fernandes Gareth Bale outfoxing the defender and back with Bruno Fernandes Ericsson Ronaldo and how about that for a save well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball encouraging stuff from United Bruno Fernandes went in strongly to win the ball and we've entered the final five minutes getting it forward but they need an equaliser they've regained possession chance to cross this could level it Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. And disappointing that it's gone out of play. Here's Grujic. Do they mean business on this occasion? Uribe. Is this the moment? Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. Uribe. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. The danger here as he runs at them. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Substitution time it is here.
And he's fired over the corner. And in it goes! The perfect header! Exactly what they were looking for. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. Well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. Martinez. Well, fine hold-up play here. Is it going to be? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Playing it in, and clears his lines. Pepe. A good and fair challenge. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Real concern for the Brents now, because it looks like he landed with his elbow underneath his body, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. Bruno Fernandes. Time is against Manchester United, but it's not over for them. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to. This could be the equaliser. But no, he's fluffed his line. Good heavens! Well, that's the chance they've been looking for. The question is, will they get another one? Time is running out now. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. And my goodness, they deserve it. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. Well, relief and joy, I would say. What a great achievement this is, and so well deserved, as you mentioned. They were excellent tonight. What a good performance that was. The party can certainly start now. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, these are always great moments for any player. This is the culmination of a great tournament they've had. They fully deserve this victory. Every player played his part tonight. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. 
the winners of the UEFA Europa League. Well, wonderful scenes. The players are making the most of this. It's been a great competition for them. And I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left. Why not? Yes. And now they get to enjoy the moment with the fans who have made the journey here for the final. Well, they'll be loving this. They really have backed their team throughout this competition.